What's up diagrammers? Today we're going to dive into building hierarchical data flow diagrams in Draw.io so you can easily map out systems from the big picture all the way down to the details. More importantly, we'll explore the two ways you can approach this by either using our multi-page feature or our layer feature. We'll discuss the benefits of both methods so you can decide what fits your workflow the best. All right, so if you didn't know already, data flow diagrams are expressed in levels. They start at level zero, which is the context diagram. The higher the level, the more detail the diagram contains. This is when processes are broken down into sub-processes. So let's talk about our first approach, which is the multi-page diagram. You create a separate page and draw IO for each level. For example, page one is level zero, page two is level one, and page three is level two. Then you link the elements from your higher level page to the more detailed diagram on your lower level page. The multi-page method works well for a couple of reasons. One is the clear separation. Each level has its own individual canvas, so you avoid visual clutter. Two you have easy navigation. You can quote unquote drill down through pages. This makes multi-page data flow diagrams best for large and complex systems. The second approach is working with layers. Instead of having multiple pages, you keep everything in one page and then you separate the detail levels through layers. For example, we have our first layer here, which is our context diagram as level zero. And then we have our second layer, which is the more detailed level one. In the layer panel, you can toggle the visibility of each level, revealing the details of your choice. The layer method has its advantages, one being that everything's all in one place. Everything's live on one page, which makes it easy to toggle the visibility of your layers. Another one is that you can keep higher level elements visible as context as you work on your sub processes. This method is great for scenarios where you want overlays and variations all on one canvas. So how do you choose between the multi-page method or the layer method? Use multi-page diagrams when you have distinct levels in a big complex system where each level stands on its own. Use our layer feature when you're dealing with variations or progressive detail in the same level, or if you wanna overlay your details all on one canvas. The great news is you can combine them and use both. You can use the multi-page feature to separate major levels, and then within each page, you can make layers for annotations or variations. All right, that wraps up our quick guide to building data flow diagram hierarchy and draw IO. If this video helped, hit subscribe, hit like, drop a comment if you have a question. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy diagramming.